Alright, um, this is the gig I get paid for, alright? Uh, I gotta show y'all about the shelf and some stuff that's on there, whatever. Um, it's like, I guess there's a contest for miniature shelves and, uh, the stuff that's on them. So this it's is not a contest, rate. it's a collab, and, dummy. Uh, it's not my normal paid gig. It's not a commercial, right? So I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. But here we go, uh, bottom shelf. There's some games tucked in there, you know, a plant. Um, some photography stuff. Looks like somebody's a photographer. I don't know. Uh, vase, picture. Some vases, vases. Yeah, yeah. Uh, books on the top shelf. And uh, somebody won an award, I guess, up there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, there's the shelves anyway. So uh, I guess I guess I'll let her tell you about this contest or whatever. It's a collab, uh, dummy. Like, I'm just here to look good, man. That's all I know. I'm just here to look good. So remember, this is a collaboration that I'm doing with Gigi Ma and Tina's Reborns. And I will have their links in the description box below. So you guys can see their shelves and their decorations and see what they did. And everybody um, can vote on my community board on April the 20th for who has the best shelves and decorations. So that way I'd have a couple of different kinds of books. And I can pull one off the shelves with one of them and they can open it like they're reading it. So, and then here's a children's book as well, because I do have at least one child Barbie. <laughs> and then off the top shelf again, I have some prizes for some sort of contest. Maybe it's the one with the shelves. <laughs> no, I just, uh, I also did a few plastic things out of just some plastic that I had. I melted with glue gun and, and made some little glass bases. We're going to say bases, whatever. Bases, bases. And then I bejeweled a picture frame. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool. So we have that. Um, and then this is, again, polymer clay. And it's a little bowl. And I thought, or um, looks like, I don't know, it looks like a piece of glass, you know, that you would show off on a shelf, maybe. And this is a plant, but it's actually, it's just paper. It's made from paper. And I watched a video from uh, my froggy stuff, and they explained how they did their, um, their little plants, and it looks so real, and I loved it. So I did it, and it works great if you want to look that up. And then this is supposed to be like a picture album. So I kind of have little um, little things in there, little pictures in there, um, just taped to the pages. And I did that because I had a miniature come with one of the Barbies and it is a, um, a camera for some photography. So I thought that would go good together and then I wanted to show you on the bottom. Whew, this is tough to do. On the bottom here, I have games. So the first one I have, you guys can tell it's kind of a Ouija board or whatever. I thought that would be kind of fun and spooky. And I did uh, the little planchette to go with it. So I've, I've already done like one picture with like three of them sitting around and playing Ouija board, but I just thought it would be cool, especially when Halloween comes around. And then I also have a game here that has a game board that you can unfold and put down. It has cards. So you have cards and then it has a dice to go with it too. So yeah. Um, oops. There we go. It's got the cards and the board and a piece of dice to go with it too. Actually two dice, yeah, two dice. So I just thought that would be cool. And to have not only the games, but also with pieces and things to go with them, I thought would be really nice. And then here's another just game board of whatever kind of game that you wanted to use. So I did, um, not only make the miniatures, but I made as many of them as possible, as realistic as I could, even though obviously this board isn't like 
a real playable game or anything. It still looks like it because it does have, you know, the board, the pieces, all of that inside of the box instead of just being a box. And I love the way the plant looks, obviously. And then with the books, it's not just the polymer clay books, but also ones that can open. So I'll put these up here. Let's see if I can just redo this real quick. It's really difficult um, to get these on here without everything falling down. It's like <laughs> so hard because as soon as I get one shelf done, then the other things want to come down on it. It's just, it's a hot mess, but I do the best I can. So the plants usually go about there. And then I put the vases up here with the, um, I don't know, China dish or whatever it would be. Oh wait, that's also where I put the, no, it's not, it's not, it's not. I'm trying to remember what goes where. Whoops, see, it's really difficult to get them to balance. Super hard. Whoops. There we go. And then I have my um, photographs, my photograph book with my camera. There's another game board down here. Oh, I have my children's book here. It needs to go on top shelf. And I mean, I guess I could put this anywhere. So we'll put it there, maybe. And then of course I've got the picture. And so there we go. That is, um, whoops. <laughs> Dude, that was exhausting. Thank you.